So I'm going to show you guys how to do, how to set your camera if you have a digital single lens reflex camera, camera or DSLR. Um, I'm working with a manual lens. So my lens, I have to uh, change the aperture by hand. So you can see this lens um, goes from an aperture of, of 1.7 up to 16. So 16 is actually the uh, smallest aperture I can have on this particular lens. Now I'm going to turn it because like I said, it's a manual lens. I'm going to turn it and I want you to see the, how I set, whoops, how I set my, um, shutter speed on this camera. So this camera, whoops, let me get the display to go back on. Oh crud. Yeah, we'll just have to cancel that. There we go. Okay, so here I have a little button on the side that I can turn. And when I turn this button, you can see that um, there's little numbers changing there. So there would, the red one would be one at 125, okay? And that's the first, uh, the first one in the bracket. And then you would wanna change it to, whoops, we're gonna go the other way to one over 250. And you can see right here where it says one over 250, right, on my display. You can see my ISO is set at 200 okay and um, as I move this little dial here you can see I can move my shutter speed to 500 and once it's there you can see it comes up at 1 over 500 and there's my ISO at 200 and I'll pop back to my lens which I've set at f16 Right, so that's for my particular camera that I have a manual lens on. So this is not an automatic lens. I always have to do a manual focus on mine, on this lens. Okay. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm gonna hold up a fully manual camera, like a fully, fully manual camera, right? You see this? There's no automatic on this one, okay? Um, and if I want to shut, set my shutter speed, there's the dial right there on the top. And you can see the, the shutter speed numbers there, the representative number. So I just turn it. And you can see there's a, it's at 500. I could turn it at 250 and then at 125. And that's my bracket that I'm going to shoot the three photos in each type of light, right? And I have my ISO on 200. And this is also a manual lens. So I would want to change my aperture to f16, and there it is. So I'm starting off at f16, right, with an ISO of 200 and a shutter speed. I'm doing 125, and then um, 250 and 500. Perfect. Now I'll take a quick look at the board for graphics. And here we have our assignment number one, reading light and lighting types, right? A fully manual camera. I just showed um, an SLR, a DSLR, um, or sometimes a, an a range finder, sometimes. And then um, you want your aperture at F16, and there's your shutter bracket, three shots for each type of light. And a point and shoot or a crossover you're going to use your EV meter, and I'll show you that in just a few minutes. So this is the rangefinder camera. You can see there's the little window that you look through. I'll put the link there. And this is a little compact one, one of the ones I showed you guys. Um, the lens has the aperture numbers here, okay? And 
the shutter control is right here next to the shutter release button, right? So we've got our shutter control right there. So I'm changing my, first thing I'm gonna do is change my aperture. So I'm gonna move it to F16, right? So you can see the aperture number is at F16 right now. And then I wanna change my shutter speed there it is at 125, 250, and 500. Those are my three um, settings, my bracket of exposures that I'm going to make. One at 125, one at 250, and one at 500. So I have, I have here a little tiny um, Sony point-and-shoot camera. And I just turned on the power, okay. and then I put it to the setting to P, and then I'm, we're going to look at the menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the menu button there. All right, so that's the menu button. You can see it right down there. And then I'm going to hit this button to select camera settings. And then it popped up on exposure compensation, but you can see it's under the little... Uh, camera icon and then it's like the third screen over and there's exposure compensation so I'm going to select that by hitting this button here and there you see the exposure compensation and it looks like I can move it see right there plus two zero and minus two and you can see how much darker the screen gets as I move it back and forth all right, so that's your exposure compensation or exposure value meter on this particular model. You might have to hunt for it, and it might just look like, it might be a little button that's just like this icon here with a little plus and minus like I told you guys about, okay? Um, so that's what you want for this, for a point and shoot camera. So I'm gonna show you a Minolta this is a crossover camera, so it has a fixed lens. You can't change the lens on it. But let's see where you can find the EV meter in here. So first we'll turn the power on. All right, and it's set on manual, M, but I'm gonna change it over to scene. Okay, and then we're gonna look on the menu. So let's take a quick look here on the menu. So there's menu, there's the menu button. And push that. And here you can see some of the different, the ISO and different things. Um, let's see if we can find the exposure value meter. Whoops. And so here, it, there's a little icon right there with the exposure value. So I just pressed it, and there's our little EV meter, exposure value meter. And to adjust it, you're going to press the up and down button. You can see I'm going down to minus two, and then I'll go back up to, if I can get it so you can see it okay. And then we're gonna push the up button, so there's to zero. You can see the change on the screen, and then we're gonna put it up to plus two. You can see how much the brightness changes on that. So that's what you're trying to find on your camera, is this exposure value or exposure compensation meter. And this is what we're gonna to use to set our bracket. Okay, turn that off. Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how to shoot in diffused light. Diffused light is when the sun is covered by clouds um, or in the shade. So this is for the assignment number one, where we're doing three exposures in diffused light. So I'm setting my first exposure uh, with my F, stop, my F number at F16, and then my, um, my shutter speed at one over 125, so 125 of a second. So I'm gonna shoot, and you'll notice when you look at this, right, that there's no shadows. Right, you can't see shadows because it's diffused light. So there's one shot. Let me change my shutter speed. Okay, now I'm going to shoot it at two fiftieth of a second, one two fiftieth of a second. Then I change it again to one five hundredth of a second.
boom, I got my three shots in diffused light. So I'm gonna show you guys about full sun, direct light, right? So direct light is light coming from one direction and fill light, which is filling in the shadows. So as you can see, I've got the trusty uh, uh, fire, hydrant. fire hydrant, <laughs> thank you. Um, here and you can see there's a distinct shadow on the fire on the fire hydrant. It's not the time of day I'd normally be doing this, but because of uh, clouds and fog, um, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to turn around and we're going to show you what we have here. Um, so I brought a uh, a reflector, like one of the ones you have for for a car window, um, and I brought something to prop it up on so I can do this without having to have too much help. Um, so first I'm going to take my three photographs in direct light without anything. Um, so you're going to see, I'm going to, I'm going to turn my camera on, my lens cap is off, making sure my aperture is at f16 and my beginning shutter speed is at 1. Is at 1, 1 25th of a second. So my first one, I'm going to turn my camera this way because the format is more vertical than it is horizontal. So here I'm going to take my first photograph with at 1 one twenty fifth of a second. And then I'm going to change my shutter speed. Two fiftieth of a second, so I'll take one at one two fiftieth of a second, which should be the correct exposure. And then finally, I'm going to take one at one twenty fifth of a second. Right? Then I'm going to do the fill light. So here's my one one twenty fifth of a second. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to use fill light to fill in the shadows. Now the wind has come up a little bit. I think my little uh, trick of using a uh, and turn it off. On. It's on. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to I'm going to brace this with my laundry basket cuz the wind came up a little bit. But as you can see when I come back, you can see get over here. Um, that the shadow that had been really dark is now a, still a shadow but it's lighter. So now I'm going to do the same three images. All right? One at 125th of a second. And then one at one five hundredth of a second. And boom, I've got my three shots in fill light. Now, remember, you want the reflector to be kind of opposite of your light source. So in this case, the sun's kind of up that away, and I put my reflector to reflect the light back into that shadow so we have it lightened up. And that's it for the three different types of light, diffused, direct, and fill, okay? And the three different exposures for each light.